All right, everybody, we're going to do a new feature this month on the Brush Sauce Theater, and that's I want to integrate more with the community. And my effort in regards to this is to take a community member each month and feature them. I'll show their website. We'll look at that work. And I'll go through some basic artistic related questions that we can uh, go over. Uh, so you can find a link if you want to join the Brush Sauce community down below. And so this month, we'd like to start off by uh, I'll be interviewing Antoine. And here's his page. So say hi, Antoine. Hey guys. Awesome. Yeah, he's you've been in the community for a while. You're a really active member. We do all the hangouts every Monday night, which anybody can join if there's spots. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I got I've got to meet you over the last month or so. You're you're a really cool guy. <laughs> well, thanks. It's been really fun. I'd like to kind of just go over this this uh well, I'd like to start us off. Go over your artistic history with us. How long you have you been doing art? Where are you located, you know, in the world, and uh, you know, what have what have you studied, and basically how long the, the basics? Uh, well, I'm uh, I'm from Quebec City in Canada. Uh, I've been doing art for as long as I can remember, but uh, only in the last uh, three or four years I've been really focused on uh, a career uh, as an illustrator. Um, uh, I've just, uh, I just finished a uh, formation as a graphic designer, but, uh, obviously it's, I, my, my, uh, my thing is more, uh, painting, uh, fantasy illustrations than designing websites. So yeah, awesome. But, yeah, I get that. I get both those vibes from looking at your work. Your website's super simple and direct and your work, you know, is really cohesive and consistent, which is which is awesome. <laughs> Thematically, subject matter wise, you have this consistency in it that that even I, I'm really jealous of too. It's really good stuff. Well, thanks. I it's uh, I try to focus on what makes me uh, excited about fantasy art, and so I I'm glad it uh, it goes through. So yeah, it really looks like you like to tell a story all within one image, right? None none of these that I've been looking at are are, are connected or related to each other, right? They're just separate fantasy images, correct? Yeah, yeah, mostly yes. And and it and it looks like you know they they each tell their own kind of story, each have their own set of characters. So I think that's really fascinating. Yeah, I, it's uh, it's something I I really enjoy uh, seeing in. Uh, fantasy art like uh pictures where you can use your imagination to to go to complete uh stories and not uh, and i i'm i'm constantly excited about different things so i doing a series uh, or an ip is not really what i'm focused on right now yeah, that's good, and I think that's perfectly fine, too. And that's even subject to change, I know, for a lot of us, too, in the future. Of course, of course. <laughs> I want to challenge you to do a 20-image series <laughs> novella. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, all right. Um, mm. How long would you say, out of these paintings that we've been looking at so far, how long does the average one take you? Uh, for, for For the longer ones, I'd say about maybe 12 to 20 hours uh some some of them a bit less uh, uh when if uh, if i i plan uh, an image uh, in advance i tend to to work uh, much faster yeah it's funny how that works right just a little bit of planning goes a long way uh, it's it's crazy. <laughs> I'm always surprised how many artists, more so on the inexperienced side, typically skip the planning phases. It's uh, sometimes I catch myself not planning things, and I and and then I'm surprised that I don't go anywhere with an image. It's right. You know, every time I I start a new piece and I. I tend to uh, skip planning and I go at it more spontaneously. It's fun to do once in a while, the, but course. guaranteed every time the image always takes me at least twice as long to do. Yeah, yeah, because you have to figure everything to out figure and try out, trial and error in a much longer process than just a little bit of sketching on a piece of paper. So, what would you say really inspires you? 
uh, well, if you look at my portfolio, you can see that I'm a big fantasy uh, art fan. Is it safe to say you're a fan of like Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones? Yeah, I I, I enjoy bo both of those things, but uh, what really uh, inspires me uh, is a lot of more classic fantasy, like uh, you know, like those those old games cover with uh, like dragons and uh, or if you look at things like all the D and D manuals. And like the, the kind of image that when when you're a kid you look you look you you look at them and uh, you you're you're very excited about like what's going on and you don't really realize when you're a kid that that's an image someone made. Yeah, and they put a lot of hard work and thoughts into it as well. And and yeah, you the. That kind of uh, very classic, uh, not too not too over design fantasy is really what uh, what I love. That's that's you know, and I, I hate to say it too, but that's definitely a rising trend, at least you know lately, and with some series themselves, is the and depending on what side of the camp you're on, is the like you mentioned, the over designing of things. Uh, like they yeah. try to like do things up just to make them look more flashy. Yeah, I I, I really like uh, more uh, medieval fantasy uh, instead of like maybe if, like fantasy. if you look at uh, things like uh, yeah I, I I fantasy is something sometimes fine but. Uh, like uh, if you look at uh, what Final Fantasy has been going through lately, uh, it's it's not that as much my cup of tea. No, no, it's it's its own it's its own beast for sure. Yeah, you're, you and you use that word classic, and that's how I would you. That's the word, the exact word I would use to describe your art. I get very like Howard Pyle and N. C. Wyeth, you know, type of vibes from 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 your pieces. Well, that's very flattering. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, so what on on that note, what are your favorite artists? Uh, well, like there there's so many great artists uh, I've been following lately. But uh, if if uh, especially in the context of uh, what I what my my work aspires to be is things like uh, artists like uh, Evan and Manson, uh, Jesper A. Singh. So yeah, that that's like his designs are just blowing me away. Yeah, he's really high high profile. You know, almost thirty thousand. He he just the amazing stuff that he just does. You know, every day, every day. It's just you know all for fun. His spare time stuff is just insane. So yeah, I I really like his the richness of uh, his designs and. Uh, and I admire his dedication to do those drawings uh, every yeah. single day. That's that's crazy. Absolutely. Uh, in terms of uh, like what I meant in uh, classical fantasy style, is uh, mm -hmm. Jesper Asing is a really good example. Oh yeah, I, I, I love I love Jesper stuff too. Like he's he's his work is very very richly detailed but not not in a convoluted way no i love it i love it i love the uh you know illustrative is is exactly yeah. what i used to, in one <laughs> word to describe him everything is very drawn and it has these really nice colorful effects and obviously the yeah, simplicity a, he's always even even when like if you see this zombie creature it, even when uh, painting grim things like that, it's always very colorful, and I I, I really li like that kind of work. Yeah, I I've honestly I've been looking at his artwork for years, like trying to like figure out how how I can make my my illustrations more like his. There's there's so many beautiful qualities about these. They're one of my favorite. I definitely myself gravitate a lot more 
to this stuff than that like hyper real and rendered type of images that you you know you can see a lot of out there anyway but yeah. that cinematic type of stuff this is mm -hmm. this is my meat and potatoes this is what i love as well yeah me me too everything's stylized to a degree and the lighting is designed to a degree you know all down to the basic brush strokes i love it yeah yeah he's he's, he's an amazing artist uh and uh, lately, I've been taking a liking to Yoshitaka Amano. Yes. The artist of uh, Final Fantasy, amongst other things. <laughs> it's, uh, yep. he's, he's a very, very illustrative to uh, very ornamental and Very loose. ornamental and ornate. Yeah, and it's his work got uh, a certain quality that I I haven't been appreciating as much uh, as lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his stuff is he's one of the probably the most high prolific uh, artists on in like Japan. Yeah, I think for I sure. read at some point his stuff is just and because he, he doesn't do that like much work for Final Fantasy anyway. He just comes and does like the cover, but like he just works yeah. on a lot of stuff. Really great guy. It's like, I mean, look at that. He's just so kind of if all everything feels so fluid and organic with his stuff. Yep, that's uh, that's really I, I really find it very appealing. I got a I got a a big print of this hanging up in my bar. Actually, I got oh, it all framed awesome. and everything. Yeah, from Final Fantasy X. I forgot where I got it, but cool. yeah, very cool stuff. I love the artist. So, um, what would your uh, in terms of artistically, what would your ideal gig or project or property to, to work on be? Well, uh, of course, like it's not, not really a surprise, but uh, I'd love to work for magic, mm -hmm. magic, the gathering, uh, uh, dungeons and dragons sometimes. Uh, and mostly like pretty much all, uh, tabletop RPGs, yeah, that's my favorite stuff right there. Because they, they it's 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 so fun. Uh, you you draw because it really puts your mind in a design space where you you think about the characters and all their equipment and their items, like mm -hmm. and all their 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 adventures. And it's I think it it's a really fun kind of world to to illustrate. Yeah, those are all fantastic, um, yeah, properties too. And I think you know, and not that my opinion means anything, but I think your your work is a perfect fit for all of those. And and you know, I look at a lot of Magic: The Gathering art and stuff every week, and I don't I don't think the stuff I see on there is any better than than this at all. I I, I think you know, for like a, someone like you and me that both kind of want to work there, it's a matter, little bit of luck and a matter of getting our work in front of the right people. So, yeah. Maybe one day, <laughs> probably. Because uh, it's it's tough when you don't have these kind of connections. Everybody that I have asked, um, you know, kind of in passing, like, how how did you get to work there? They're like, well, I knew somebody every single yeah. time. <laughs> it's like I don't know anybody. You know, I... <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Anyways, uh, do you have any other artistic, like, I mean, maybe even long term artistic goals or? Or, or dreams that you'd like to get your work. Maybe that's inventing your own, you know, tabletop card game. Maybe that's making action figures or your painting. Or, you know, whatever it is. Do you, do you have any um, thoughts or aspirations in terms of where you'd like to bring some of your, your art or your career? Well, uh, not maybe not something very precise, but I'd love my work to one day give someone the the reaction that fantasy art made me feel uh, when I was uh, a kid and looking at uh, like altos uh, like I was uh, I was given this uh, first edition uh, D&D &D manual when I was uh, a kid from my uh, from my uncle and I, I, I like I couldn't play the, that game it was too complicated for me but uh, I was fascinated by the illustrations in it, and uh, it, it and got that kind of art got and still gets me very excited about uh, 
all these different uh, fantasy properties and stuff like that. And if someone uh, ever gets excited about something because uh, they saw an illustration I made, then that would be really uh, special. Yeah. Just do some... Um... Just do some of uh, those stereotypical fantasy new woman. I know you'll get Raphael pretty excited about that. <laughs> excited about all of us, sure. God damn it. From the group. Anyways, uh, so do you, what are your favorite you know, movies and games? If you don't have any, you know, do you have any favorite books that inspire your work or anything? Uh, well, uh, in movies, um, I'd say one of my favorite movies, and I guess it's, a, it's also a comic, uh, it's a Nausicaa. From uh, Ghibli, one of mine. I I, I really find uh, I I'm not I'm not uh, it's pretty much the only uh, post-apocalyptic uh, property I I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Really, uh, well, it's it's probably because it has a fantasy feel as well. It, it definitely feels more fantasy than anything, and I think it's that nice blend of it that, that I really that's for the reasons I gravitate yeah. toward it as well. Uh, I really enjoy Hellboy as well, awesome. like uh, both comics and movies and stuff like that. I really enjoy that kind of uh, universe. Um, as for games, uh, well, I mean, I think you've heard of this game. It's called Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah, I heard of that. Yeah, it's, it's uh, got a good rep. Yeah, I I heard it. It's uh, it's got a fantasy setting and knights and all this stuff. This this looks like a scene out of you know, Dark Souls two or three. Yeah, uh, funny enough that uh, that piece uh, with the knights were uh, was uh, inspired by Demon Souls. Oh, awesome! Yeah, um, I I am also like my my favorite game of all time is Shadow of the Colossus. It's a good one too. Yeah, I uh, recently loved The Last Guardian as well. I haven't got to play that one yet, but it's certainly on my list. It's it's a special one. I really really like it. Awesome. It gives you the feels. Yeah, all all of the feels. <laughs> so, what is the uh, the best piece of advice you were ever given? Uh. I think it, it was from uh, from a lot of pe a lot of people told me that, but especially uh, Adam uh, Adam Duff, our our buddy, uh, who told me uh, to get try and get looser with uh, when painting, uh, especially fantasy art, because uh, when you're you're learning uh, with you're learning fundamentals and really focusing on trying to get the best work you can. Uh, it often it often gets really stiff and too uh, stilted, and you you you're focus focusing on the on on the fundamentals, but uh, then your your image has nothing special to offer and so I, I, I try my best uh, right now to try to loosen up uh, wh whether it's composition, design, uh, colors, stuff like that, anything really. That, yeah I, I can relate to that is what it's saying that that's why I've at the beginning and you know that's why i've been doing like a zelda piece every week for you know for the last month or so just because it 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 just forces me to like loosen up and get a you know have fun making an image and getting it out rather than uh you know doing 50 different thumbnails and trying to plan out every little morsel of the image i just kind of dive in with a rough plan and yeah, it, for the yeah, very so. reason that you're describing is to help me loosen up and and build consistency. Loosening up, sometimes I just loosen up and you know things just go way off. You know, get get derailed essentially. So yeah, I can I definitely can relate to that. Yeah, uh, it's it's uh, it's hard sometimes when you're you're really learning and you're you focus focusing on 
trying to get all that you're, you've learned into your piece, but you you've just you you've got to remember what you you're doing this for. Like you you do this because you're you enjoy it and it's something you're passionate about. So it's important to to make sure to show that that passion. I um yeah. On on so I guess in terms of this, what, what do you think is your your greatest weakness, and what what are you trying to kind of remedy the most within your own your own art, um, your your own imagery? Uh, well, it's uh, I, pretty much the same things uh, as my advice. I'm I still feel, uh, especially in terms of design, I I tend to be a bit stiff. Uh, I. Yeah, uh, and I just want to to let my um, more of my Im- imagination loose and and get things uh, a bit a bit more interesting in the details and uh, and stuff like that. I'm also I'm also a bit weak on the the environment design. Like that's that's probably my my weakest point. I did notice that a lot of your a lot of your images are kind of cropped up images of, of these characters though. And I think they're all glorious. Like, you know, we don't see the whole character that we were, it's very focused on a lot of your images on these very intimate moments. And I think that's great and fantastic. And you'll play to your strengths if that, if that's the name of the game, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I, I feel confident saying that I'm more of a character artist, but uh, I still want to to be able to to convey a, a better sense of place. All right. Put it all to, to to use in one image. A challenge yourself. Do a battle scene. It's got like you know five oh, different gosh. dudes and all those scenarios, <laughs> smoke and flames, and you know yeah, all that. Uh, uh, castle siege or something, or a siege on a dark warlock's keep. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll have to do something like that one day, for sure. Awesome. Uh, what is, well, actually, do you, how many hours a week do you think, do you have a painting schedule or a regiment? Do you do a lot of practices or studies still? Uh, well, um, right now I, I'd say I, I'm painting between 16 and 25 hours a week. Not bad. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah. Um, lately a, a bit less because of some, uh, graphic design contracts and, Oh, those contracts, right? Like you... Yeah, <laughs> you you just you gotta get work done to get paid. But uh, that's right. I'm trying uh, to uh, to to make uh, time for painting uh, at least uh, a bit every single day. Fantastic. Yeah, I, that's all the questions I have for you today. I'd like to. I my two fa- personally, my two favorite pieces of yours, I believe, I think, is this this elven lady here. I think that's. I just love the color palette that you built here. I remember when you had first posted this on Facebook, and I think I like this one a lot. I keep, I, you know, I keep looking at the, all of them, and I keep, I certainly keep gravitating toward these two. I think I just love yeah, them. Yeah, it's. Uh, I I really like the the fairy one too. Like it's 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 kind of an uh, a bit of an older piece, but it still holds up very well. So I'm keeping it. Fantastic. Well, yeah, I, I and I want to le- end on that note, guys. If what are your favorite pieces of of Antoine's here? Let us know. Do your best to describe them, since a lot of them I don't think I can get an actual name for. But yeah, let let us know. And where where can people find you on the internet if they want to check out more of your work or follow you? Um, just uh, Google uh, Google my name, I guess. Uh, I can uh, I can give you. Uh, we'll have also, some links in the description. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the <laughs> links uh, for my uh, my social networks uh, in the description. If any of you want to reach out to me. All right, fantastic. And so, since this is the starting of a new trend, I'd like to kind of kick off by like I want to have you help me pick you know the next member of our little growing but ever oh. our, our our community. You you help me. You're like. The, the the guy I feature each week or you know the girl whomever will help me be the headhunter to find the next the next person that we'll talk about next month. 
Oh damn, I I wasn't pre- prepared for this. <laughs> no, we're in no rush. You got a month to find me somebody. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll so find. If, the, I'll if find you guys, the next, uh... if you're in the community, you're a member of the community. You have the only, my only requirements are that you have a portfolio somewhere online, some art online to look at, like a gallery. Uh, get in touch with Anton here, and he'll he'll forge you. In, you know, he'll check all your stuff, and we'll talk about it, and we'll we'll get you in next. I want I want to you know, perfect world. I'd feature everybody, but. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> All right, everybody, take, take care. Some months. So. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Anton. It was a pleasure talking to you again. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. If you found it helpful, please leave me a like. If you want to help me out, please share it with your friends. I'm also on Facebook where I have a subscribe button where you can get newsletters and discount info. I'm also on Twitter where I update and post images almost regularly. If you want a chance to mingle and meet other like-minded uh, individuals such as yourself, join the Brush Sauce community. Free and open to anyone, of course, through the Google+. Plus. And finally, if you'd like to inquire about my mentorship program, head over to tyleredlinart.com, click on the mentorship tab, scroll through, read over some of the guidelines, and feel free to check out uh, several of my testimonial videos on my YouTube channel itself.